we really <coughs> yeah, we're good, we're good fortune you sure. you you back in the team in an unfamiliar position uh, just like us through your experience of uh, playing as a I don't know a hybrid midfield right wing back is an interesting role a very interesting role indeed well for me it's just playing football and playing for the team uh, I'll be honest with you when my employer employed me they didn't tell me I was coming to play a certain position they employed a uh, an employee that was gonna be ready to work in the team. So for me, playing in that position, it's, uh, it's not something that's unfamiliar. We we prepared from a long time ago, and I've always been prepared to play anyway. So it was just me coming in and playing. Football is complicated. This is what 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 was the position and what was the the instruction from the coach? <coughs> Uh, it's a very complicated sport when it's played by people who make football very difficult. But, <coughs> sorry, lucky for me, I play with players that understand the game even better. So I knew very well that uh, uh, it wouldn't be much of a trans match for me coming in because I'm playing with people who understand the game. And it's more of about me also going in and applying myself in a proper way. And uh, Fortune, when you when you came to Pirates, you know you you, you hit the, the ground running. You played an awful lot of games, and this season, maybe towards the end of last, not playing too much. Uh, how difficult the moment was it for you to not be playing? Because you know, I think throughout your career, you've always started uh, on on the pitch. Was it easy? Was it difficult? And 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 you know, the support that 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 you got during that moment. How did you take that not playing uh, too many games for Pirates? We were a very supportive team, and and lucky for me for. I'll be honest with you, if you were to see me each and every day, you'd say I'm the one who's playing week in, week out because of the mood and the support that I get from my teammates and my family, most importantly. So I haven't been playing in, in as much as I would have liked to, to be playing, but I knew that the team is doing well, the, the guys are doing very, very well. And we are 35, 35 good players. Imagine the stress that our coach has to, to, to go through. In terms of, and you can't please everyone at the same time. So when you're not playing, it's more important for you to support the others that are playing. And I, 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 I actually gathered that strength from my teammates, and which is why I'm very, very, very happy to 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 say uh, the credit must go to the ones that are not playing, because they're doing a lot of uh, uh, job behind the scenes in preparing the ones that are playing. Yes, the, the, the main focus is in the players that are playing, but the ones that are not playing are very, very important in the team. Um, how difficult or easy it is to, to, make, to, to motivate yourself to support the guys that are playing while you are not playing? You are really big after all of Yeah. Uh, uh, they say uh, football is a, is a way of living. Uh, I'm that person. I'm a selfless person. And, in human form so for me to see others play I feel like I'm the one who's also playing because when we win we win together I didn't play the last final but as soon as we won I was there celebrating like I'm the one who also played so uh, it's it's how we live off the field that actually also helps us in, in different in difficult times like this it becomes easier for you to to, to match the whole thing your life out of football and inside the field of playing, yeah. And maybe just to expand on that, how did they instill that uh, type of family like a fair or brotherhood that when you're not playing you support another? Uh, is it something that you got here at Pirates or maybe the new coach has also instilled or is it maybe you as a human being that you were brought up to have that type of part? Uh, I've played a game as well, sometimes it's difficult to support. In general, <coughs> that type of you know brotherhood here at Pirates. Yeah. Uh, they always say that characters align. So luckily for me, our coach also shares the same sentiment as the team. And it also uh, goes well with how I was actually raised. So, well, for me, it's not that difficult. But uh, I wouldn't talk for others because you never know. But we try to motivate one another and encourage one another as much as possible to say yes we're not playing but you're doing very well training dog so keep going and everything
fortune. Which one? Also, um, for the fortune of Maritzburg United, very entertaining, very attacking, dominant in midfield. Um, and then you come in and some fans are divided about you and saying maybe you, you don't belong here and stuff. Is that things affect you when the fans are criticizing you? Because that's not what you got in Maritzburg. Not even. Because I understand the value and magnitude of playing for Orlando Pirates can never be the same as playing for Maris Beck United. And to be honest with you, maybe it hasn't even uh, come to to my attention. Maybe it's, it's hitting oxide or it's just hitting the wall. So it hasn't even come into into my attention. But to be honest with you, for one to think that way, it would tell you that they haven't been watching Orlando Pirates in, in a critical eye because they still sing fortune from Maris Beck. They actually didn't pay, pay attention to fortune that has been playing for Pirates season in, season out, week in, week out, and has been doing very, very well. So, yeah. Fortune, uh, uh, on the, uh, Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I, well, I just want to go back um, to the question about uh, versatility. Um, I mean, um, the coach spoke about you playing at right back this week. Um, could it be easier for you, because as part of your foundation, especially even at, uh, at Marisberg, you worked with someone like a coach, a million dog. Um, I remember also him working with Tapelo Morena, converting him um, from a right winger to um, a right wing back. Um, and I've looked at your elements. Um, all of you guys who come from the the Wuhang Mabu, uh, all of all of you. So, is it something easy for you in terms of adaptation here? I'm I'm glad you mentioned all those names. I I was about to say that when I said characters align, it also comes back to to the type of friends or the circle that I keep. To be honest with you, almost everyone that I keep in my circle can play anywhere at any time. So we learn from, from those things. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Tabiso Munyani and Bandile Shandu have been supportive and I've been learning from them. So for me, it wasn't really difficult to actually or should I say, it hasn't been difficult to actually adapt, and also the will to learn, because I'm still learning. Like I'm, I'm not a master in that position or a perfectionist, but I strive to to be the best that I can be, and with the help of my teammates, of course. Who, who, who will be maybe the international players? Maybe when we just talk to the coach, <laughs> and, and the coach says, you know what, if you can watch him more, this is what I need from you. Well. I'd like to go and ask the coach, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll come back with the response. Sure. Read a switch from my expert to Orlando Pirates. I mean, from your time you played your first official game of, of Orlando Pirates up until right now, when you look at your report, are you happy with what you have managed to achieve in terms of your performance as well? And while we're still on the topic of Marriott's back United, it's a team that also you know gave you that platform. I mean, at the end of the day, you're here in Paris because of, uh, you know, so your thoughts as well, them being relegated. <laughs> well, from from the first day I came here, it's been a very, very, very exciting uh, phase for me. I'll be honest with you, I've grown a lot in in terms of my game also, and I've, I'll be honest with you, I've had the best times of my football career here at Orlando Pirates more than in Maris Beck. And in terms of achievements and everything that I, I needed to actually get in my in, in my CV. And uh, I'd be lying to say I haven't had the best time here. Like, this is the best. I'm, I'm living my dream. I'll be honest with you, I'm living the, my dream on and off the pitch. Yeah, okay. I'm leaving my dream. Pitch, <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, and uh, I'm 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 a very appreciative person, and I'll always be grateful for my respect. And I and I wish they actually come back to the top flight. So.
so that the people of my respect can go back and watch their team because they love the team. I think uh, the, the, the passion, the, the ambition and the drive that the, the, the whole city actually uh, carries for that team is very magnificent. So to be part of, of, of uh, a group of people or a society like that, it's even great. So I'll always cherish and, and be grateful to Mars Bay United. Maybe just out of interest, uh, lastly also, do you see yourself playing in this position going forward or it was just a stopgap measure? Do, do, do you enjoy it so much that you feel going forward now you can play? Uh, the fortune teller enjoys playing football. So uh, uh, I enjoy being in the field and playing football, expressing myself. Maybe in, in the next game I'll be playing as a left winger and I have to go in and enjoy myself. So uh, I enjoy football. I'll, I'll always be open to playing anyway the team needs me to play. It's more about the team than fortune Magaring. Yeah, the magnitude and value of playing for Orlando Pirates is always greater than the individual. It can't be just about me. And, and just on that as well, when you say it's always about the team, of course it is. But does the coach sit with you or the coaches and say, Fortune, this is what we demand from you away from the team? Is that the conversation that you have with the coaches before you know he tells the teammates what is expected of you? It, it, it is. Imagine if the coach didn't have his demands. Fortune would go there and do his own thing and not stick to the game plan. So he has to instill that and, and make sure that we actually follow the instructions. So whatever we do, I'll be honest, whatever we do, it's something that we've prepared from a long time ago. So we never go into the field of play or, or on match day without being prepared enough. Yes, the results may not be coming as much as we'd like, but we always stay prepared and we stick to our game plan. Sure. Sure. Yeah, well, no, face. Yeah, the Thank you, miss. Yeah? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so that's why you should think in the Layo Glala, in the Layo P. Tribula on and off the pitch, and it did ground in your tribune. Yeah, depend with Tribula.